Hello and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm here in my back garden looking for the bee. It's springtime, meaning the garden is buzzing with the sound of bees collecting pollen and nectar from a variety of flowers and blossoms. They're attracted to the sweet smells and the bright colours of the flowers which rely on the bees to distribute their pollen. This is known as cross-pollination, which some plants require to produce seeds. The relationship between bees and flowers is also symbiotic as the bees are awarded for their hard work by a sweet mixture of sugar and water called nectar which is produced by the plants. There are 250 species of UK bee, but they all come under three categories, either honeybee, bumblebee or solitary bee. The type flying around the sage plant are mostly honeybees, which are a lot smaller than the bigger, fatter bumblebees. Bees have long tongues called a proboscis which they use to suck nectar from flowers. They keep the nectar in a special honey stomach and once this stomach is filled up, they return to the hive to make honey. The flowers produce the sweet nectar to attract pollinators like bees. When a bee lands on a flower, it picks up pollen sacs from the stamen, which is the male reproductive organ of the flower, which stick to their feet and hairy bodies. When they fly to another flower, the pollen rubs off onto the stigma, which is the female reproductive organ of the flower, and the plant has been cross-pollinated. This makes fertilization possible, and a fruit carrying seeds can develop. Bees seem to be particularly attracted to blue flowers, and yellow flowers which appear blue to them. So if you're hoping to attract bees to your garden, it's a good idea to go for blue or yellow. Honeybees are around 15 millimeters long and are light brown in color. They have oval shaped bodies with light and dark stripes. The brightly colored bodies of the honeybee serve as a warning to predators of the honeybee's ability to sting. Bumblebees are larger and hairier than honeybees with black and yellow banding. Along with honeybees, they can be found throughout the garden as well as in parks, woods, orchards, and meadows in spring until late autumn. In winter, the bees in the bumblebee colony die off, and only the queen bee survives. She usually burrows down in the soil to hibernate, and then emerges in the spring to start a new colony. Honeybees, however, stay close together in their hive to keep warm, while solitary bees, which don't live in hives, hibernate wherever they can find shelter. The distinctive buzzing sound bees make is created when they flap their wings very fast, up to 200 times per second, which creates vibrations in the air which we hear as buzzing. If they feel threatened, they flap their wings more so the buzzing gets louder. Thank you for watching Natural World Facts. For more videos about British wildlife, click here. Or to become a subscriber, click here. Visit our website at naturalworldfacts.co.uk. See you next time.